A major event happened recently that you might have missed. The US Fed cut the key rate by half a point from 5.5% to 5% while everyone expected a 0.25 cut. It's the first cut since 2020, meaning the first key rate reduction in 4.5 years. Remember, the lower the central bank's key rate, the pricier assets become. The formula is pretty straightforward. It's about supply and demand balance. If I have lots of money, why buy assets, risk my cash, freeze it, plus take on risks that the asset I bought might drop in value? I won't buy stocks, I won't buy property, I won't buy Bitcoin, I won't invest anywhere. I'll keep it in a bank deposit earning 5-5.5% yearly. As soon as the interest rate drops, let's consider an extreme example, like... So, in this case, my billions or even trillions of dollars, why keep them in the bank? With inflation, it's not profitable. I'd rather invest in assets, despite high risks. I'm ready to take them on. Money needs to go somewhere, so buy stocks, real estate or invest in crypto, for example. Otherwise, money will lose value, and the longer it sits idle, the more it depreciates. The lower the interest rate, the higher the demand for assets. Higher rates mean lower demand, supply follows suit. High rates increase supply as people sell assets to keep cash and earn interest. It's not risk-free, but nearly so. The balance of supply and demand sets market prices, so there's a basic economic rule – lower rate, higher price. Got it? Now pay attention to the description. There's a link to register on Bybit, the top exchange where I personally trade. It's number one in trading volume and liquidity with the lowest fees. On there you'll save hundreds of dollars monthly. That's why I suggest signing up through my referral link in the description. You'll get a cash bonus for registering from $10 to $30,000 depending on your deposit. Size. Most of my subscribers get $100, but even with no deposit, you'll receive at least $10. If you're a big trader with a large deposit, you could get up to $30,000, but for bigger amounts, you'll need to reach out. Click here to see trading volume and estimate your registration bonus. Link below. Enjoy. I'm showing this S&P 500 chart for a reason. It represents the 500 largest American companies. It's near all-time highs today, maybe not exactly, but close. It might go up or down soon, but that's not important. It's practically at all-time highs. Let's assume the market's at its peak. Now, back to crypto. Bitcoin is quite close to its maximum, but it's not at its all-time high. There's still potential for growth, at least 16 to 17 percent growth potential. Why? Because interest rates are being lowered, and money and liquidity and accounts are gradually increasing as the key rate decreases. Most importantly, expecting further rate cuts, this money flows into assets. Markets grow, including crypto. Remember, crypto used to perform poorly compared to traditional financial assets. Markets, because capital always finds a way in, but it used to be tough for big sums. Now it's no sweat at all. It's easy now, because we've got ETFs trading on US markets for Bitcoin and recently Ethereum. There's more tools for big investors to use official exchanges. These existed before, but now it's simpler. Just two clicks and you're in crypto if you've got a US brokerage account with market access. In Russia it's tricky, but many Russians have US trading accounts, so that's why. So here's what I'm getting at. Positivity, positivity, and once again, positivity. From a fundamental perspective, recall my previous reviews. If you haven't seen them, I highly recommend it. They're quite extensive, especially the 40-minute review I recorded a few days ago. I mentioned all the negative signals, which were numerous, to put it mildly, during this period since Japan raised its key rate. By the way, notice how that rate hike impacted the markets. In the subsequent buyback, despite all of Bitcoin's negativity, we're now focusing solely on Bitcoin, plus the formation of a very non-bullish pattern pressing against the all-time high. The longer we see this compression, the more likely and powerful the breakout will be when we talk about all-time highs. So there's likely a need to multiply such signals. Plus, right now in recent days, we've seen Bitcoin rise above the moving average, 
in key areas I've been discussing, I said the strongest, most serious signal that the market may continue to grow is when I say continue to grow, I don't mean this movement, but rather this movement that might continue. So the strongest, most serious signal is consolidation above moving averages. See the 50 day, how it sold off, then managed to hold with a simple absorption, then the 100 day was passed instantly without issues. Now look how it's selling off from the 200 day moving average. By the way, we can combine this with the level I showed you earlier in the reviews. It's literally the last hurdle before breaking out of this pattern upwards, while the American stock market is already at its highs. This market is catching up and as soon as this happens, it'll likely be a matter of when, not if, it breaks through. We can consider it already overcome when it consolidates above the moving averages and breaks out of. To ensure this pattern works, if this level isn't enough, look at the bullish flag. Once consolidation happens, we'll take off. Again, by New Year's, I'm not just expecting an all-time high, I think Bitcoin will be well over $100,000. These are my expectations, of course. I'm not telling you to trade, that's your call. But consider this, the alt market is extremely weak, as I've mentioned in my reviews. Even it, relative to Bitcoin, has found a bottom within a downward channel. The weakest market we're seeing now is bouncing back, with many signals of further decline, yet showing strength. It's showing signs of life. We must consider and work with this. Short trading isn't advisable in the near future, though our last video was about short trading on small time frames. We only short weak markets and only consider long trades in strong markets. That's obvious, I hope, but I've just said it again. Get ready to enter the market if you're out or to increase your positions if you're in. Buckle up, we're taking off. Good luck.